this a roll. Caduceus is going to do it. You've done a lot tonight. <laughs> I would, I would recommend, I would recommend holding his hand. This may hurt. Or his abs. Or his abs. Hold my hand for. Just a second. What are we doing? We're just it's gonna, gonna try fun. something. Have you ever gotten a tooth pulled? Yes. It's like that. That didn't feel very good. Well, then hold my hand. You can squeeze it as hard as you want. Do you want to bite down on something? You can oh. use my bow staff. This is making me feel. You want to bite on the bow staff? Oh, it's a little big. Oh, it's, a little. Uh, it's really big. <laughs> <laughs> Do, you to to oh, Do you want me to tell you a joke to lighten the mood? Take a, take a swig from the flask. I have the bow staff in my hat. Okay, you'll be fine. Just, <laughs> just for added bonus, I'm going to cast this at like six level. Fuck you! So you're casting greater restoration. Yep. I'm okay. gonna cast Tasha's hideous laughter on him. No. <laughs> on board? Yeah, just so he, he's laughing while this happens. <laughs> okay, <laughs> gonna make roll a wisdom saving throw for it. <laughs> Love that joker. Uh, 18. Oh, 18. Uh, it. Oh. Well, I'll still tell you the joke anyway. Why did Captain Tusk Tooth start smoking cigarettes at the dock? Why? Peer pressure. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think everyone takes psychic damage at that point. <laughs> didn't uh, work, he didn't laugh, everyone! Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna take the take the residuum and I'm just gonna pulse it through you and see what happens and okay. give it a... Mark 100 gold's worth of residuum off of level, your list. my level six for the day. As you concentrate, Caduceus, and reach out towards Ford's chest, you find your vision darken, and your instinct immediately is, is that fight or flight, that, that fear impulse kick in. But you find yourself surrounded in warmth, like you were dropped into a warm bath. Caduceus, as you concentrate, the same lichen that grows upon your armor begins to grow from your fingertips and find its way gathering at the center of Ford's chest. This kind of bright pink plume of fungus begins to just grow and generate around the sternum. In you, in this moment with your eyes closed, that warmth, you feel this twinge of pain right there that begins to grow and grow and burn and sear. And you feel him, his hand squeeze tightly. Nausea begins to kick in, wave after wave, as this horrible pain begins to just burn from the inside. It is awful. It begins to come in such heavy waves that you find yourself falling to your knees, and that nausea is burning heavily within the, the depths of your chest and belly. Caduceus, as you hold tightly, you watch as Caduceus falls to his knees and begins to just shudder. All of you begin to grow nervous with what is happening, especially with how now, barely recovering from the edge of death, he seems to be, to be convulsing in the way that he is. You're hurting him. I'm gonna link my arm in his arm just to keep him there and to keep him upright and, and safe. Okay. The pain begins to entirely consume your perspective. The warmth isn't there. The darkness is barely something you can concentrate on. It is just the pain, and it feels like a burning, white-hot poker right in the center of your chest, moving up towards your sternum, up to your clavicle, and as the nausea kicks in, you find yourself retching. You watch as Ford suddenly doubles over and vomits what seems to be gallons of frothy seawater onto the deck of the ship. This horrible, guttural, all muscles tensing vomit. Uh, and as the seawater splashes onto it with a heavy. Oh. You see a singular cloven crystal. Don't touch it. Somebody pick it up with an object and let's put it in the bag as quickly as possible. Uh, Your vision returns. Take it off my sash and scoop it up and tie it off. Let's put it. I hold back his little teeny man bun. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Put it in the bag as soon as oh, possible. Oh, it's coming out of your nose. Oh. I put it in this. It will be gone. Perfect. Gone. What does that mean? Gone. Oh, no. It's the. How gone? It's the Amberston. No one can see me. Perfect. 
Let's use my long right sleeve now. to wipe up Ford's face and mouth. Oh. Caleb starts placing out the pieces of amber and around it on the deck, and as a ritual, casts uh, the Vault of Amber, and it just goes. 